When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Big baby Jared Anderson got cooked by Martin Bacoli. He has mentioned that he was not fully invested in boxing, that boxing is something he does for money, and that he didn't really want to box for that long. And I think these things are hurting him because he's not maturing outside of the ring. He caught a couple cases. He has some issues, some run-ins with the law. He did the interview with Roy Jones. He started crying. You know, I'm only 20. I'm 21. I'm 22. And, you know, he's breaking down. And I think your name has a lot to do with how, you know, your destiny, right? I would. I don't know why grown men want to call themselves babies. You know, I, I don't know why grown men call themselves grown men call themselves little this, little this, little that, little this, baby this, this baby and that baby. And I've talked about this on my lives and on my my content that I don't I think it shows your maturity level. Right. Again, going back to that biblical verse. Right. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I I thought I understood as a child, but when I became a man, I put those things away. That's what Big Baby needs to do. He needs to mature outside of the ring. The first thing he said after uh, losing to Bacoli, he gave him credit, right? But he started mentioning like, oh, man, a lot of these ends is 34. And, you know, bro, you're fixated on your age. Look at it as you're blessed and you are a... Uh, uh, you are overachieving because you are young and doing well in your profession. At your age, Devin Haney was world champion, right? At your age, Devin Haney became undisputed champion in boxing. At 19, Devin Haney was calling for Lomachenko, who was arguably uh, some version of a boogeyman in that weight class. So I give Jared Anderson credit for taking Bacoli, but I also think that maybe he didn't really have a choice. Because he said that Turkey came to him and said, are you interested in fighting on the card? And he said, yes. And he said, well, who do you want to fight? And a, a big baby says, I said, yes, as in I'll take whoever. So just because you get an opportunity doesn't mean people want to deal with you. Right. And uh, they may have cashed him out. He may have cashed out. I don't really know because I don't know where his heart is at. You know, he said, well, this don't really matter. What matters is you know, my family and that I'm healthy, which is absolutely 100 percent true. But also, fam, the way we know about you, the way you feed your family, the reason why you're on pay-per-view is because you box. Right. So you have to take your boxing career serious because two losses, three losses can effectively uh, uh fully stall your career out right you are very critical of Deontay Wilder when he lost or Devin Haney when he lost yet they've achieved way more than you have you haven't achieved a fraction of what they have Deontay Wilder has 10 heavyweight title defenses he's tied with Muhammad Ali Devin Haney is a multi-weight division champion right and I think because I think sometimes because like Big Baby is in that circle with Shakur and Keyshawn and they all kind of like look out for each other. And you know what I'm saying? They all support each other in that way. They kind of feel like they're sharing legacies. Nah, fam. That's the issue with being buddy, buddy with everybody. Y'all need to make your own legacies. Y'all don't share legacies, right? Shakur's win is not your win. Keyshawn's win is not your win. Big Baby's win or loss is not theirs. So you have to step out. You know, you you still want to have support with them dudes. But I guess what I'm saying is I've seen the things that Big Baby Miller says and does. I mean, Big Baby Anderson. If I said Miller in here anytime, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> right. Big Baby Anderson. Right. And I actually interviewed him before his first fight in Reno on Shakur's card against Joette Gonzalez. And uh, I rocks with Big Baby uh, Anderson. I really didn't like you know, how you win that Devin and all that. And, you know, talking about when we catch you. And I'm like, who is we? You know what I mean? But at the at the end of the day, 
it just wasn't a good look, man. He he didn't look good. His defense was leaky. He pulls straight back with his chin in the air. He could he didn't slip roll too many punches at all. Uh, the guy was too big. He was too. Jared Anderson was too inexperienced, man. And um, that's the thing is that I think top rank could have been raising his comp a little better than they were. But that's typically how it is on top rank. You fight nothing but random dudes. And then as soon as you step up your comp, you find yourself in, in, in deep waters and uncharted territory. Right. This man wasn't fighting Usyk. This man wasn't fighting Joshua. He wasn't fighting Deontay Wilder. He wasn't fighting Zilly Zane. Right. But, you know, from my understanding, Bacoli have been avoided by many fighters. Right. So now he just made a name off of you. Right. Everybody's looking for you to have the uh, for you to be the uh, uh, the next heavyweight champion. Right. And we bestowed that on him before he did anything. Right. Based on his slickness and that he is a big. Right. But at this rate. He, he he probably won't do anything that Wilder hasn't done because his heart is not in it, right? His heart is not in it. He, I mean, if you watch, if you watched him and, and listened to him talk, he, he talks like, man, I just like, bro, I don't even want to be here. Like, I just this just happened to be something I'm good at. This is what I know how to do, so I'm gonna do it. Well, commit to it, bro. You know, and it's not too late. But I think it starts with that maturity, bro. Worse than you know. Your, your in the ring boxing things that you need to do is your maturity because your maturity will say, listen, man, I'm not as good as people. I haven't proven that I'm as good as what people think I am. The world may think I'm the greatest this and that, but I'm not going to I'm not going to. I'm not going to use the world's perception of what I might do potentially to guide my career. No, I'm going to put everything in the gym. I'm going to walk it, I'm going to talk it, I'm going to move like it with purpose, with maturity, with, with again, with a goal in mind, and no one will stop me. And even when you do that, you may lose in the boxing ring, but it won't be as bad, right? It won't be, your reaction to it won't be the same. Man, man, most of these niggas is 34, man, I mean, like, bro, what did that have to do with anything? You got beat by a dude that age, Right? And there's fighters that have come through younger than you, like Mike Tyson, that have beaten older dudes. So old dudes get beat, young dudes get beat, right? The question is, whether you're old or young, is how good are you? Are you great? Are you good? Or are you average? Right? So now Bacoli, again, credit to him, taking nothing, absolutely nothing away from him. Some people thought that Big Baby had some issues with Charles Martin, right? So I don't know what's next for big baby Jared Anderson. I think he should start by dropping the name. Yeah, you grew up, they called you big baby when you were a baby, right, chat? It's time to leave the childish things alone. I'm looking forward to the next version or the next phase of Jared Anderson. And I say this with love, right? I know a lot of fighters listen to my videos or, get wind of my videos and they might get upset, right? But I think this is what needs to be said because that's how we all feel when we're younger. Even even as we grow, we like, man, you can't tell me nothing. You don't box. Champ side don't box. I may not box, but I know a lot about life. I may not box, but I know a lot about growing and maturing, right? I may not box, but I know a lot about purpose. And being true to yourself, right? Don't let this money and fame and attention go to your head. That's the quickest way to the to 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 the fall. Pride become pride comes before the fall. Do you want to be Adrian Broner? Right? And if you did, that would make you a multi-weight division champion. Because that's what Broner is. So you haven't, you know, you you can talk and want to have the 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 flair like Broner. And, and popping, popping, you know, popping hot shit. But you have to back it up with something, bro. And right now, you got a monster in your division. That's the dude that you should be chasing and envisioning yourself fighting right now. And if you got in the ring with Usyk right now, he would cook you, right? So that's where you need to be trying to get. 
on a Usyk level, on a Fury level, on a Wilder level, right? You're slick in the ring, right? You and Shakur sparring and, you know, you sparring these, these guys that are not really, even when you're sparring, that's not fighting under the lights against top competition. So, you know, that's all I have to say, man. Let me know what y'all think. What's next for big baby Jared Anderson? Let me know in the comments. It's the baddest brand in the land. Champ side. Peace.